Hi everyone, my name is Lena and welcome to my garden. Today I'm here to give you an update on the growth of my K. Paris magnolia tree, which is this beautiful tree uh, right behind me here. Um, if you're thinking of growing a K. Paris magnolia or maybe like some other dwarf varieties of uh, southern magnolia, you might find this video quite informative. I'm going to show you uh, what this tree looked like when I first bought and planted it in the spring of 2020. And also I'm going to be comparing it to my friend's tree, um, which is also a K. Paris that was bought at the same time from the same nursery. Nursery, um, just they're just being grown in different environments and also I would like to compare this tree to my other dwarf varieties that I have in my garden uh, namely little gem so it'll be interesting all right without further ado let's jump right in Alrighty folks, so here's my tree, uh, my K. Paris magnolia tree that I have planted in this corner of my house. Um, when I look outside of my dining room area window, um, I see this tree right away. And I planted it here because I wanted it to act as like a screen for me um, to help block out the windows and doors of my neighboring houses. Um, I garden in Zone 8B in the Pacific Northwest region, by the way, um, in case you're wondering. Um, and I said that I bought and planted this tree in 2020 in the springtime and right now as we are entering um, the second week of September of 2023 this tree has been in the ground for about three and a half years um, it's got evergreen foliage and as you can see here um, they are glossy green on top and they have like deep orange uh, brown undersides that are kind of fuzzy and velvety to the touch um, we're looking at some seed pods here that are left from um, the flowers that were spent. Um, I don't think I will get any more flowers um, in September right now. I might get maybe one or two more like odd flowers here and there, but the most um, heavily flowering period is in the peak of summer. Here's a look at what this tree looked like when I first bought it. It was probably about two, maybe two and a half feet tall in 2020. And after about being in the ground for about a year, it started putting out a bit more growth and it started flowering right away um, in the summer of 2021. I think I saw like a few flowers um, from this tree. And by the summer of 2022, it grew quite a lot. I would say like by that time probably grew like four four more feet it was like as tall as my fence which is like six foot tall and here we are back in the present day um this tree is about nine nine and a half feet tall um it's it's quite tall right now so within like three and a half years or like maybe four growing seasons um this tree has reached um the height the desired height that i was you know like really hoping for it and it will continue to grow um this is a dwarf variety um so don't confuse this with the regular southern magnolia varieties that can grow to like 50 to 60 feet tall um this variety that i have k paris will grow to probably 20 to 25 feet tall and about 10 to 12 feet spread um, maybe like 15 feet spread but no more than that and right now i have it planting um about seven feet away from my wall um, on this side and from this side um, i have it a good like i would say like almost nine ten feet away so i think i will have plenty of room um, let me show you some clip of uh, my trip to Nashville, uh, Tennessee a few months back and I, I, um, I saw a row of magnolia trees right in front of uh, the resort that I stayed at. I stayed at Gaylord Opryland Resort. What a beautiful hotel. But anyway, um, back to this magnolia. So this is what your uh, usual southern magnolias uh, look like. Um, look at those huge uh, seed pods, you guys. I wasn't sure what this variety was and there was no one there for me to ask but this standard southern magnolia looked to me to be about 30 to 40 feet tall and maybe about 15 to 18 feet spread. Um, very beautiful. My K. Paris is probably not going to grow to be this big um, but if it is that means the tag and the nursery that I bought it from kind of lied to me. <laughs> Um, let's take a look at another question that I get asked sometimes. Um, do I find this tree to be messy? Um, a little bit, yes. Um, especially this season, I saw uh, quite a lot of leaves falling. I didn't experience this as much in the first two years, but this year, um, yes, in the summertime, um, a lot of the leaves turn yellow and brown and then eventually fall off. So if you're one of those gardeners that loves to keep your yard super, super clean, um, this tree might be a little bit problematic. For me, not at all. I'm not a clean gardener. I, I like leaving things around. 
um, you know, as compost or whatever. So this tree doesn't bother me. Um, let's take a look at um, some of the shoots that come up here from the trunk. Um, if you have this happening, um, you will want to uh, cut them off. Um, don't leave them um, too long because they could, you know, do damage to the health of the tree. My trunk is pretty straight, uh, which I love. I'm so lucky. Um, this tree came like this and it grew like quite straight. Um, the trunk looks to be about an inch and a half, uh, maybe like, yeah, about an inch and a half in diameter and uh, growing. I have some lower branches um, down there. I think I had the lowest one was probably like a few inches off the ground and I cut it off because I didn't want branches to be growing that low. Let's take a look at my friends K Paris, you guys. Um, we went together, we bought like the same trees at the same time, and she planted it right here in her front yard. My friend doesn't really have a garden garden. She lives in a house in the country, and she lives on a big property uh, with many trees and flowers that they grow. And these trees and flowers are usually left to grow uh, naturally on their own. My friend's very busy. Uh, she's a mother of two. Um, her tree is quite a bit smaller than mine. Um, this tree looks about like maybe three four feet tall um whereas mine is like already like nine feet and if i ever had to guess why that's the case i would say well it kind of also depends on many other factors as well for example the amount of sun that the tree gets um, the amount of water that it gets especially during the first and maybe second growing season and just because one tree is growing slower than the other it doesn't really mean that it's inferior it could also mean that it's you know taking its sweet time to establish really strong root system um, for it to be healthy and strong for many many years to come i think trees are like people you know like we grow at different rate uh, but eventually Eventually, we'll get to our full potential um, given the time that we need. And now let's take a look at the beautiful flowers and the flowering habit of Cape Harris Magnolia. When we think Southern Magnolia, we often think about this beautiful, large, creamy white flowers that are heavily scented. And that is definitely the case for Cape Harris Magnolia. Um, this clip was taken back in July um, during the month where this tree was producing the most amount of flowers for me. Um, you can expect to see the flowers from the months of May all the way till October, but the most uh, amount of flowers that you'll see, uh, for me anyway, it happened in the month of July. And the flowers usually appear at the tips of the branches and and every single branch has produced a flower for me this season. Um, the flowers usually last approximately two to three days on the branches. Uh, and some people say that they close up at night and open again in the morning. I personally haven't seen that, but that's not to say that it's not true. This is a picture of K. Paris flower that I captured last year. And this was one of the most perfect ones that I've seen. Um, not every flower will look like that. Sometimes the petals won't open up all the way and you'll uh, get this like kind of bowl shaped looking flower. Um, but every single flower has been very heavily for me so far. Now I will show you, um, I will compare my K. Paris to my other dwarf varieties of magnolia trees that I have in my yard. This one is Little Gem and I have two uh, Little Gem magnolias growing in this section. Um, if we take a closer look, we'll see that, you know, like this one is messy as well. It drops leaves um, in the summer months. Um, so that is the same for K. Paris and Little Gem. And the leaves are the same, um, glossy green on top and um, deep orange brown under sides. Um, but to me, I feel like Little Gem has a bit wider leaves compared to K. Paris. Um, my K. Paris uh, feels to me that the leaves are uh, more oblonged in shape. Um, little gem, I will show you here in a second uh, what the flowers of little gem uh, look like. To me, they look identical. I can't tell the difference between um, little gem and Cape Harris flowers. Um, here's my other one. Um, they both are right now standing at four and a half, five feet tall. Um, I bought my little gem magnolia trees at the same time, but it was a good year after I bought my Cape Harris magnolia. So these two trees are uh, a year younger. Um, I see this one flower that should probably open um, in about a week or two and that would probably be my last flower of the season as the weather gets cooler and cooler right now in the month of September. Okay, I'm going to take you back in time to about two months ago when this little gem was in flower and we're going to take a look at this one flower so you can see what um, it looks like. 
To me, I don't really see a difference between Little Gem and K. Paris Magnolias. Um, the flowers look very identical. Um, maybe the petals here look a little bit wider than the picture that I took from K. Paris, um, but they smell the same and they are the same color. But not every flower from the same tree will look the same either. So there's that. Now the next question, how cold hardy is K. Paris Magnolia? To me, I think they're quite cold hardy. Um, it's been snowed on every single season or every single year in the winter so far for me in the last three years. Um, and it survived. This tree stood strong for me and didn't suffer uh, any cold damage. So the leaves remain evergreen and attractive for me all year round. Um, the lowest temperature that we had was probably like below 20 degrees Fahrenheit for a couple of days, maybe up to a week. And this tree did just fine. I want to show you here uh, this view outside uh, when I look out from my dining room window. Um, when I first moved into this house about seven, eight years ago with my husband, this area was super bare and I had a bunch of windows and doors looking in on uh, to my dining room area and I didn't like that. I wanted to um, create myself like a living screen over here and now I have this tree um, growing at my desired height which only took like three and a half years. I'm immensely proud and happy about my K. Paris Magnolia. Um, if you're wondering how I take care of this tree, there's not much to it at all. Um, you want to plant this tree in a full sun location, uh, six to eight hours is ideal. Um, when you first plant it, especially when the tree is young, water it regularly. Go out there and water deeply once a week or when the weather is dry, maybe twice a week. And um, you want to plant it in a well-drained soil that is uh, organically rich. And you know, that's all you need to do for this tree to thrive. All right, I think that's it for me and my K. Paris Magnolia. I hope you guys find my video helpful and uh, have a wonderful day, guys. Happy gardening. Bye.